What's happening guys, it's your buddy Grizz, and I'm here to apologize. Not really apologize, I guess it's more so for myself, but for you guys too. The situation is, I didn't really feel that great about the Duke Nukem Kid Up video. I wasn't really 100% satisfied with the way it turned out, and uh, I felt like the setup was more appropriate for a troll -a loadout episode. Now, MTJ, Minecraft Total Justice, the guy who made the suggestion, I'm not saying that it was a bad suggestion, just saying that I probably should have used it for a Troll the Loadout episode and not Kid Up. Kid Up is supposed to be a little bit more of a serious review series, and this loadout was a little bit goofy with the uh, using the Deagle as the primary and the duck bill on the shotgun, which I felt was, you know, kind of a bit of a disservice to the Duke. I don't think he would use a duck bill. <laughs> and the Hawk isn't the best shotgun in my opinion either. That's why I decided to do a Duke kit version 2.0 and that's why I'm using my favorite shotgun here, the Spaz 12. So I started with the iron sights, a flashlight, modified choke, and the buckshot shells. and. I slapped a reflex on there a little later on, so that's pretty much what you're going to be seeing. I decided to use the flashlight for something different, and because of the fact that I had the modified choke on there, I figured I'd be aiming down sights more, so I could probably use the flashlight to maybe blind some people because of that. Uh, so the Spaz-12, like I said, it's my favorite and always my go-to shotgun. Um, one could argue that the 870 MCS might be a bit better. Um, I'll agree that it's also a very good shotgun, but there's just something about the Spaz-12 that I've always liked, uh, even in other games like uh, Black Ops 1. It might be just the look of it. I think it just looks cool. It's badass. But yeah, I'm using the modified choke, and uh, the modified and the full chokes, they're extremely effective for pump action shotguns. Uh, you have to be ADSing as much as possible, however. Uh, let's see, what do this, what do these chokes do? Well, um, they tighten the spread of the buckshot pellets significantly, and they're only really going to work well with buckshot and dart rounds. You don't want to use these with uh, the slug rounds because it just it kills your hip fire, and yeah, it's just not a good scene. But uh, yeah, it tightens the spread of your buckshot pellets significantly, See, so more pellets per shot are going to be hitting your enemy, and that's going to equal more damage. So more damage per shot equals more one-shot kills. That's why I really love this thing, is you really get a lot more one-shot kills, and it also really helps to increase the range of the shotguns. You'd be surprised how far away you can be and still kill an enemy in, let's say, two to five shells. You'd have to be standing still for a while, but you'd also be surprised at how many people do that. They just have no clue, and they just don't move when they're being shot at. I don't know, maybe they can't understand the direction indicator or what, but yeah, you'd be surprised. Some people just don't move. Uh, as far as the Deagle and the LVG, don't really have anything different to say. Both are still awesome. But uh, I feel like this kit is a little bit better for like a Duke Nukem loadout. And, uh, yeah, I, think, I just think it worked a lot better. I did a lot better anyway. Uh, so I, I want to mention something a little bit different about the live streams, and that is that I'm really going to make an effort to stream more often. It might not be, maybe it'll just be for an hour here and there, but I'm, I'm really going to try to stream, hopefully, <laughs> I'm going to try to say like every day, every second day during the week or something, but uh, we'll see what happens. And I'm also going to try to stream different games. Um, I think Twitch viewers watch more so for the personalities than the games. I mean, obviously the games that are being played are important. You don't really want to watch something that you have absolutely no interest in. Um, well, so maybe you do, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I watch Hutch play chess. Well, I mean, I like chess, but, like, for example, I watch Hutch no matter what he's playing just because I like Hutch as a person, so. But I'm getting, anyways, I'm rambling. Let's get back to the point here. Uh, it's more of a way for all of us to hang out and interact together, which, which I think is cool. 
I'm still gonna be streaming Battlefield a lot, uh, 4 and 3 probably, and, but I'd like to stream some different games, like I said, so I want to stream Fallout New Vegas, uh, CSGO, Whiskey Long and I are gonna be <laughs> trying to maybe become better noobs at CSGO, and uh, maybe Doom 3, I'd love to do like a playthrough of Doom 3, and if you guys would like that, to scare the crap out of ourselves. Um, if there are any games that you'd like to see me play, let me know what they are in the comments. And so I'm looking to buy a couple new games, and I haven't bought a game in a while, so I'm a bit out of the loop, and I have no idea what to buy. So help me out, and I'll stream said games. That being said, I'm going to stream for a bit today, and I should be live by the time this video goes up. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I might start the Fallout New Vegas character, or I might decide to play some Doom 3. So if you're one of those gung-ho people who comes and checks out my videos right away, then I'll probably just be getting started. So come on over and hang out! I'll, uh, if you're seeing an annotation right now saying the stream is over, then I'm sorry I missed you, and hopefully I'll catch you next time, guy. As always, thanks, mo thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the Duke version 2.0. My name is Grizzno, and I'll see you all very soon.